I know when to ask for help. I'm not gonna be cocky enough to say that I could do this all on my own without it looking like trash. Hey everyone, it's Mike again, back with another nifty home makeover. You might remember me from the last video where I had the company Havenly design my entire living room space for me and I assembled it. So during quarantine, we've had to find different ways to keep ourselves sane. And what I've started doing over the last few months is going down a Pinterest rabbit hole of looking at beautiful libraries. Big, beautiful university libraries, home libraries of rich people. I love books so much. Probably growing up watching Beauty and the Beast, that informed a lot of my love of libraries. In my apartment, off to the side of the main entrance, there's this weird nook. And on the floor plan, it's labeled as a dining space. But the way that Ella and I designed my living room space is that the dining table would be part of the whole contiguous floor plan. And also it gets the best natural light. So that left me with a weird room off to the side that I had no idea what to do with. I was DMing with Ella, my designer from the first video, and she said she thought it could be totally possible to turn this dining nook into a library nook. So that's what I'm gonna do. But here's the twist. Every single part of this room needs to be secondhand. I have some sentimental pieces, namely a beautiful antique clock from 1880 that belonged to my paternal grandmother, who I never had a chance to meet. I've never properly shopped vintage before. Luckily, I don't have to do this completely alone. I'm gonna hop on a call with Havenly's VP of Creative and Design, Shelby Gerard, and she's going to give me specific pointers about how to actually make this possible. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Mike, so good to see you. So good to see you too. I'm excited to get this process started. I kind of want the space to have a feel of like hot young professor living in New England. <laughs> Not bad, very, very specific. Yeah, I guess, do you have tips overall for sourcing secondhand? pieces you have to both have a lot of patience and kind of go often or look often if you're going you know into antique malls or thrift stores but then also act fast so if you see something you like don't let it get away some kind of lighting is essential i think of like a pharmacy lamp which is that old kind of like task lamp i don't have any sort of like area to display nice booze find an old vintage tray and decanter or a tea set and create like a little area where you can put drinkware. What's your feeling on plants and greenery? Small ones or, you know, ferns or something that kind of like drape down mm. off a shelf. I think that's a really nice look. I just want it to feel like a jungle, but like a tasteful jungle. I found a bookshelf on Facebook Marketplace. I just couldn't wait, you guys. It's over seven feet tall, so I'm going to enlist the help of my friend Tilo because she has a much bigger car than my little Corolla. This is what friends are for. So ran into a small hiccup as I was helping her to adjust the seats in the car to allow room for the bookshelf. I put my coffee cup on top of her car. Then she drove away, so my coffee's gone and now it's on poor Tilo's car. This is a, uh, wow, not my finest moment. It looks like a bird <laughs> out of my car. <laughs> of course I'm doing this on one of the hottest days of the summer. It's a good workout. I'm just covered in sweat. This is all very exciting exercise in geometry. I think it's in the clear, right? Yeah, I think it's in the clear too. Okay, next. Nice. <laughs> You're such a troll. <laughs> Definitely gonna need to bolt this to the wall somehow. It's very heavy and it's making me a little nervous. This is my space so far. This is a kitchen island that I actually got through Havenly back in April. The decoration here is just, it, it's not even decoration. I'm just putting stuff on here so that there would be stuff on here. I actually like grouping books by color, but not necessarily doing like the rainbow. So thinking of like a stack of, you know, darker books, a stack of blue books. What sort of chair do you think would be good to look for? Vintage leather chair. I think that would fit really well with the aesthetic. And it's also something that is relatively easy to find secondhand and much more affordable than new. <laughs> With a rich, like, cognac color. Ooh, thank you so much, Shelby. And I can't wait to see how, what you find secondhand and how everything comes together. I want to switch the kitchen island that I bought back in April with this wooden cabinet that I've owned for five years and just kind of forgot about. Because maybe the old wooden cabinet I have will be a better fit in the library nook. It takes up less space, which I appreciate because I want there to be more room for a cozy reading chair. Today marks the first day that I've ever gone secondhand furniture shopping. It's fun. It's also overwhelming. I hit up five stores today, 
and I had success at two of them. I found a cute vase and a seashell. And then I went to a store called West Coast Modern LA. I came across this swinging lamp. Something about it drew me in. So we got this wooden base here and this long neck that swings over and the lamp part. I sent the photos to Shelby to see what she thought. She said to try to put this little cabinet to the side of the wall and to nudge the shelf over more to the left. It's very heavy. I shouldn't have put books on this already. That was very silly of me. Okay, we're moving. This makes sense to me. I have spent the last two hours on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and an app called OfferUp that I just heard about. It's a total rabbit hole. I found a piano lamp on OfferUp that I'm just obsessed with, so I drove to the valley during rush hour because I really wanted it, and it's so cute. The image of it makes me think of old libraries in England. Decisions are hard, okay? Guess who can't stop himself from buying more plants? It's this guy. Went to a whole thrift market for an hour and this is what I got. Did I need them? Yes, we'll go with that. I just got four ceramic planters for my succulents. Found them on the app OfferUp. It was a steal. A tip that I've read about on a number of websites is to remove the dust jacket that comes with hardcover books so that we just see the hardcover underneath it. It looks a little classier, a little more old timey. I'm not gonna throw out the dust jackets though because they're beautiful and I might wanna put them back on the books later. Love to not commit to things. I'm down to the very last few items and starting to get a little frustrated because I want very specific things and I can't find them. I want this brass side table, preferably with some faux marble, a brass tray, which shouldn't be that hard to find for the decanter, and I want a rug. It's been a big day. I went to five different thrift stores. The last two, I found trays for the whiskey. So let's take a look at what we have here. Here's option one. Ideally, it would be a little bigger, but we can't be choosers. Here's the option with the round tray. I like the color better. Maybe it's a bit snug for everything I have going on here. I'm gonna check with Shelby. <laughs> My mom sent me a big box of books. Initial highlight, <laughs> the joys of Yiddish. Everything Star Trek. This is how I was raised. Time to style the bookshelf. I needed to get creative about having bookends, so I'm using this old film camera from my grandparents. This cute bookend is from my mom. A menorah from my grandmother. I love this hand-painted dreidel. Shabbat candles. Wow, I have a lot of Jewish things here. Russian dolls. It's gonna hang out in this dish. Hello. Got this off of a very nice woman from Facebook Marketplace. It's close to the caramel slash cognac color that was suggested to me by Havenly. It's comfortable. I sat on it while I was going up the elevator, which was a really weird sensation. This is the new shoe rack that I just got off of Facebook Marketplace. To be honest, I kind of hate the color. I don't think the wood is dark enough to go with the other things in my apartment. So, I'm gonna be using contact paper, which I've never done before, and we'll see if making this wood look a lot darker will make it blend with the rest of the room better. I think if you look from a distance, it's good. Just don't look too close, because there's a lot of detail work that I rush through. It's fine for now, plus there's gonna be shoes in here. Just got home with this carpet that I got from Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. Hopefully it looks good in the room. We will see shortly. It's cute. Oh, it's soft. So now that the carpet is in place, I think this is actually really coming together. It makes it feel more like its own room. So Shelby got back to me with some great advice. She preferred the round one, which I actually prefer as well. And to have the table lamp actually be on top as well, stacked on some books to give it a little more height inspired. This is the art that we're working with. We have this beautiful print from one of my favorite Instagram corgis, Maxine the Fluffy Corgi. I got this back in June when Maxine sent out prints to anybody who donated to specific black charities. This was a print done by my good friend from college, Stephen McGarty. I still have this beautiful beautiful print of Providence, where I'm from, by Michael Thompson. I just got the last big piece of furniture, the side table. A very nice lady who I got it from is moving to the south of France. Well, folks, 
Here it is, my new library nook. There was zero assembly required, but a lot of lurking online, a lot of driving all around the city looking for items, and what it would look like at the end was kind of a mystery. I had this fuzzy vision of the overall gist of it, but like, the individual pieces completely surprised. Thank you so much to Shelby for guiding me along through this process. Practically everything you see in this library is secondhand. It's 2020, we need to be eco-friendly. There's a story behind each item. And hey, if we're gonna be spending all of our time at home, might as well make it pretty to look at, right? You might like some of these more than others. It's all individual's taste. Of my acquisitions, what is your favorite piece in the library? Let me know in the comments below.